All right. Uh, is Jordan gonna come? Okay, he's yeah. okay. Yeah, he's good. All right. Well, I got a joke to get us started today. Okay, Cal, you ready? Here's the joke. Um, I found a wooden shoe in the toilet this morning. It was clogged. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, also, did you guys hear? It's summer now. It's, it's like 100 degrees outside. I'm so excited that I wet my plants. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Thanks for letting us be with you guys in family worship, and I hope that you guys enjoy a couple dad jokes. Can you guys run, go get your books? We wanted to make sure that y'all know registration for Awana at Home is open, and these guys are all gonna be in new Awana groups this year, and they wanted to tell you which groups are gonna be in. So Levi, what group are you gonna be in this year? T&T. Big T and T, -er. wow. Reese, what about you? Sparky. She's gonna be a Sparky, and Cal? He's going to be a cubby. So he's in preschool. So from three years old all the way up through fourth grade, we're going to be working to memorize God's word together this school year. Now, we know it's going to be a crazy season. So we've tried to make it as simple and as non-complicated as possible so that your family can do it and fit it into your schedule. We've got two store nights this year. So this semester even, before Christmas, two times where you guys get to get prizes for memorizing your verses. We're gonna have just a couple Zoom calls, a couple videos that y'all are really gonna enjoy watching. So make sure you go to summitchurch.com slash kids and register for Awana. Do you guys think everybody should do Awana this year? Yeah! yeah, me too. Well today we're actually gonna well, today we're actually going to keep working on memorizing our family memory verse. 1 Peter 4, verse 8 and 9. Let's see. Do you think we can say it together for them? Yeah. Okay, let, let's try it. Here we go. Above all, keep, keep loving, loving one, one another, another earnestly, earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. 1 Peter 4, 8 and 9. Hey, great job. High fives all around. Way to go, guys. say it again above all keep loving one another earnestly since love covers a multitude of sins show hospitality to one another without grumbling first peter 4 8 and 9. now there are two words in that verse that i want us to talk about together i'll explain a little bit and then you and your family at home will talk about it the two words are earnestly and hospitality earnestly Above all, keep loving one another earnestly. It's a fun sounding word, and here's what it means. It means keep on loving. It means keep on. Sometimes it's hard, we, we have to decide. If that person's being mean to me, do I still love them? Do I still show that I love them? Or what about when that person takes something from me? Should I still love them then? And when he says above all, keep loving one another earnestly, he means yes in all of those situations. Keep loving even when someone doesn't do you right. Yes, keep on loving even when someone's not loving you back. Keep on loving. Earnestly actually means keep on loving until you can't love anymore. Just keep on loving. That brings us to our second word, hospitality. It says, since love covers a multitude of sins, show hospitality to one another without grumbling. So hospitality is kind of like what it looks like to love someone. It means being generous or using what you have to serve other people or to welcome them in. Now, for a boy or a girl, that might not seem quite as easy. I can't just invite people over to my house if I'm seven years old. Maybe it looks a little something like this. When it's time for us to watch TV as a family, Instead of me saying, oh, mom, dad, I want to watch this show. Pick my show. Pick mine. Maybe we say, hey, dad, I think we should watch my brother's favorite show. That would be a way you could love and serve and use your voice to help someone else. Or what about this one? Maybe you know your sister has a favorite game. What would it, maybe you could set the game up 
How special would she feel if you had the game all ready and then went and invited her to play her favorite game with you? That's hospitality, using your efforts to serve other people and make them feel welcome. So those are our two words, earnestly, hospitality. And there's gonna be some questions that come right after this that you and your parents can talk about what those words mean and how you might could show those things in your own home. Hey guys, so y'all heard us say the family memory verse together, but what you didn't know is that we actually used music to learn it. So we're gonna sing the song that we made up for you guys. Levi and Reese and I are going to sing 1 Peter 4, verses 8 and 9. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Above all, love and Thank you for letting me join you for your family worship today. Remember to register for Awana at summitchurch.com kids. Wherever you are, you are sent. Mm -hmm.